All right, everybody, let's go. Losers bracket. The level Valorant clash continues. Funky team name goes up against Death on Arrival in this next one. And guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but we've this been a here. little bit in a bind thus far, but now we finally have a different map. I promised you there are more maps in the pool. It is, of course, still a beta here for Valorant, but we're looking yes, again on the attacker go. side now. Funky team name trying to push in. We are on a haven. Three bomb spots are available over here. And this should actually be pretty hype. When it comes to the agents, we actually see on each side Sage and Brimstone again. That hasn't really changed. Omen also available for both sides. Sova is going to be the one that is going to try and give some information for death on arrival through his darts. And we have Cypher, of course for the team in red we attempt to do the exact same thing CEO is going to attempt to make that happen for them already peeking on C long over here whereas well, we're going to take a bit of a closer look over to this again out. and they're currently deciding where to go they're actually waiting for death on arrival to push through which the defending team has so far decided to not do at all there's a little bit of an approach, actually, that they are looking to the double doors. They want to go garage at this point, and this is actually guarded by two agents on the Death on Arrival side. Yeah, here comes the blind. They're moving through. Get the quick kill, and damn! That was... Yuichiro was killed within half a second there. They're pushing onto the point, taking Painarana out, and Vainless is able to get the heal in. Counter kill against Seo. Cypher goes down, but that's still a 4 versus 3 situation in favor of Funky Team Name here in this first round on Haven. And the wall is already up, and that puts them into a pretty solid spot with a little bit of a gap here that needs to be covered still. Of course, can slow this down. Trying to buy some time here. Flash's coming out. They're trying to push through. Three versus no three right now. Time's ticking though. And the defending team is coming. Gets one kill, gets two kills. This is and Vainless are both eliminated. And now the defuse right there. Everybody taken apart. Death on arrival. Able to reconquer C and win the first round in this My ultimate match. Is not ready. Nicely done. A loser bracket, of course, still heavily important. We talked about it previously here in the tournament. We have Level partnering up with Red Bull and with Vodafone. So we are actually looking at a huge prize pool for this one. 10,000 euros in total. A double elimination system. And in this loser bracket, it is do or die. Either you take this one or you are out. If you want to make that run through the loser's bracket and end up in the grand final, then uh, every single match counts now. These are all best of ones. The grand final is going to be the best of three series. Funky team name got sent down into the loser's bracket by Team Invisible earlier in an absolute nail-biter of a match. It was absolutely incredible. It was just mind-blowing. And we'll see if they can progress through the loser bracket a little bit further. Now we have Omen together with Rimstone trying to double check this. CEO is currently with Cypher double checking on C still with the camera. But they're trying to push through the double doors again. There's a little bit of action over here on B2. Uh, and a little bit of peeking happening on A long. It's a pretty calm, it's actually a little bit more of a laid back game right now. So both of the teams are just playing this super, super safe. We still have the approach towards B and they are really cautious. You can tell that Death on Arrival is not willing to push out at all. Finally, the first death as Steri moved in. Takes the first one out. Obviously, we have in terms of weapons another big pistol round happening, but at least utility was bought as Vainless is getting some of that in, trying to lay that. There's the spike on the other hand. Okay, spike is down. There's already a little bit of money. There's the shot through the wood, and the kill is in. Two remaining attackers are trying to guard the bomb as long as possible. Moving through, attempting to get the kill. Hossa, deny light later, gets another kill in those series, is able to make it work. Only Omen is still alive. He comes in, but gets all also taken apart and that's point number two on the board for death on arrival funky team name playing their usual style after losing round number one they don't buy any weapons instead they buy only utility and so far that has been working out for them at least in the loser's bracket they are definitely in a position where they can now finally start to afford some uh, better equipment if you look over to what Death on Arrival is still sporting, they bought after the first round, which they initially won. So we have two Spectres oh, for nice Brimstone and for Sofa. Uh, Sofa. And we also are still looking at some Bulldogs over here. So that's actually still a little bit of a low eco style that they play here. 
and save up quite a bit. But let's have a bit of a look over to Omer in particular, who's going for long, has currently a Phantom in his hand, so needs to be careful of those long distance shots. He can't get that easy headshot in and go for an insta kill. But he's double check. Oh my god! And that distance, on the other hand, works quite fine. Nicely done by him. Gets the easy kill in. And that's actually the second kill, since Funky Team there was also able to take a second play out. We are still looking over here at Sage, playing it quite safe and deciding where to go. Is it going to be B? Is it going to be A? But it seems like they're going to start to push through towards A instead. Three defenders only, still standing for death on arrival. And that's going to make things different. Full utility here as well. Gets a heal too. Signature ability is going to be back up in another 35 seconds. They get the kill against Omen. Nicely done. And at this point, here comes the plant. All right, really well played. So they're holding the point. Recapture is already underway. Everybody for Death and Rivals seems to be trying to funnel through the recovery over here. One moving up to the window. It's not going to be easy for them at all, especially with Sage just getting one slow orb in after another. Yeah, utility is super important in this game. Ability is usually not used to get kills, but they are incredibly helpful to just slow the opponent down or just deny access completely with either a smoke or a wall. Up at the top, zero is down, four versus two situation, time's ticking, bomb likely to go off, and death on arrival, already falling back, not risking anything here, still keeping contact with the window, but nothing else. Yeah, the average cost of utility, if you want to get, conf uh, if you want to deck yourself out completely, is actually 500 credits. Very easy to illustrate in uh, the case of uh, Sage, for example. If you want to buy an ice wall, it costs you 300. Any slow orb on your queue costs you an additional 100, which puts you at 500 in total. There's obviously a couple of exceptions to that rule, but that's what you have to really account for if you want to buy a proper weapon, but also get the utility in the game. And talking about weapons, we still have money on both sides, especially for our fucky team name, not really a lot of the agents died last round, so they are fully equipped with the extra armor. They have also the weapons. We're looking at pretty much mainly Vandals and Phantoms, each of which costs 2,900 credits. But you, of I course, want to get that extra armor in, which costs you a thousand, but allows you to stay alive unless you get a headshot by a Vandal on any distance. So it can be super, super helpful to survive through that. Again, very, very laid back here. Vainless on the Sage is currently playing the save, waiting for his team to maybe get one of those quick kills in on any of the bomb sites. He's also the one that still has his ult up, so the Resurrect is in play if needed, if they can push forward. And you will actually see a Sage player very often drop a Ice Wall, for example, simply to get the Resurrect through without risking that the, that the player that gets resurrected gets insta-killed again. Or, of course, Sage herself exposes her, uh, oversteps a little bit, and then gets taken down. Can do the same thing pretty much with a couple of smokes, but those are the plays that are usually lined up there. Now, funky team name, now that they finally have some proper gear, they seem to do a little bit better and are starting to push through. They put the first point onto the scoreboard in the last round, and now they already have the initial kill with another wall guarding the plant. Plant is in. There's a lot of secured money already, and on the rotation, Hossa and his Phoenix gets caught. Good job. Long gets protected now as well, and with a kill against Omen, it seems like we see Death on Arrival once more trying to play it safe, not really pushing in. They're gonna attempt to save what they have here, as you can tell. Hoping, of course, for a bit of a rotation kill, someone moving straight into the line of sight to be taken out. But, yeah, ain't happening right now. Funky team name, they're currently playing this incredibly slow, incredibly safe. They're just waiting it out and not chasing anybody on the map. They have all their five agents still ready. Still fails in this case. Was sticking around a little bit longer, listening, trying to figure out if anybody was maybe attempting to defuse. That wasn't the case. But now this one is tied. So 2-2 two -two for now. And well, this is the moment where Death on Arrival is running a little bit out of money. It's not that they have nothing, but they can't fully equip themselves here, so they have to make a choice. Do they actually just simply go for an eco round? And that seems to be the case. The only ones that are not, well, that don't have to buy anything are obviously Yuichiru and Seri, who both survived the last round and still hold on to their Vandal and Phantom, but everybody else just invests into Sheriff now, which is Valorant's Desert Eagle. 
and don't buy anything else. So it's pretty much a bit of a mixed round that they have here. Half eco if you so want. Whereas Funky Team Name is fully decked out. They got everything. They got everything and they got also an ult up. They still have Vainless with the Resurrect. So if anybody goes down, he can help out with that. And it seems like they push us towards the garage doors again. Double doors are soon going to be uh, tacked. And these doors are actually kind of interesting because they actually have armor. But if you shoot them with a couple of consecutive shots, the armor will drop off. And then you can pierce through with your bullets. So uh, that's something to always keep in mind here if you want to really lay on the pressure onto the garage. Yeah, Dart gets taken down immediately. No vision whatsoever. Uh, careful, uh, long, yep, needs to be careful on the right. Starts to push in again, and you can see on the minimap the rotation of death on arrival. Smoke's down too. We still have Sage starting to push in slowly. Okay, first kill is in. Cameras are up. Needs to be careful around the corner, and bam, headshot. Well played here. Fails with a kill against Hossa, who so far just has been an absolute punching bag for uh, funky team name. But there's the counter kill. As Seri comes in, gets at least that. Keep in mind, Death on Arrival on the defending side is currently playing an eco round. Only one survivor for them. And it is Seri, still trying to see if she can maybe pick up another one. But deciding to actually save the Vandal instead and uh, moving away. Uh, could actually get a kill here. The two of them are going to peek around the corner any second, but <laughs> Vainless, not showing any mercy. Comes in, bam, straight to the face, and uh, that is a wipe. That's the lead also for Funky Team Name as they pull ahead once again. Nicely done. So let's have a bit of a look at this. this Nine kills at this point for uh, Siri. The Sage player for Death on Arrival is doing a fantastic that job here. There. Whereas Hossa and uh, Penarana have been pretty much farmed here. I mean, when you look at the deaths, both of them died each round. They finally have enough money though to buy themselves some proper weapons and also some armor. Vainless, despite the fact that he had to play very far back in pretty much any round now as the spy carry, was in a position where he could get four kills already. Uh, got a lot of traps set up here, but that's a really, really nice one that we actually see with this camera. You can always just peek long on C. There's one sitting on the top left, but he's just playing this incredibly slow. I'm just saying, alright guys, I'm going to monitor this, I'm going to see what's happening here. And maybe we can shift over to C at some point. But they seem to be going through the double doors again, or at least thinking about it. At the same time, we're still having on A. Omen, sitting tight, also needs to be careful around the block towards the right. Could be attacked from the back if he doesn't pay attention here. Uh, sneaks in and gets taken down. Omen dead, nicely played. Same time now, Seri is still guarding C together with Sova as the attack keeps coming. Vainless is currently also sitting here. They're trying to make it through the garage, moving through the window. The attack with Breach starting to flash, coming in. There's the wall again to wall this one off and deny the entrance. And that means another spike for Funky Team Name has been planted. They're starting to fall back a little bit, trying to guard this. We have got the top and that's exactly where the kill comes from. That's the problem when you put the wall there. You can actually access it from the from the left side and that's exactly what happened there. So there's the defuse attempt, everybody take down, flawless victory here in this round for death on arrival. And this is a 3-3, so currently tied one, I like it, good start into this, again loser bracket, always highly important. We have Sio on uh, Cypher moving towards the left side again, he's going to be the one to hold C consistently. Oh, this is going for the spot. same place here, placing the trap first of all, you want to catch the rotation. If you decide to make a move for B, if you decide to make a move for A, you don't want to end up in a spot where the player on C can come in from behind and then just farm you and shoot you in back. This time without the camera in this position though, it seems like there's going to be a much bigger push for A this time. They still had all the money that they need. I mean, look at the look at the resources that we are currently seeing for them. It's actually fantastic. So instead, he puts the camera down on B. It's going to try and guard that. Holds for now a short as the rest of the team is pushing over too long. So a lot of information here from Cypher. And that's exactly what is needed. So he is holding all the angles right now. Is covering the back again. The rest of the team is moving over to a long. So Cypher covered a short. 
He had his trap set up over at C long, and he was also guarding B. So they have all the vision, all the information. And here comes the push. They get the kill against Asus, but the kill Omen as well. Both sides now lost the player, and with the second one against Phoenix, we have a numeric advantage again. But that's the old of Brimstone. But it doesn't do enough. They are able to move out, and there's a three versus three situation on the map. One is coming in from the window. The rest of them is trying to move over from spawn side. Yeah, Yuichiro goes down. That's the third kill now for Brimstone. Four versus two. Mainless with Sage went for the Resurrect. Here's the blind. Peeking again. Window. Gotta be careful. Kill. Counter kill. Last man standing. And there's the headshot as Mainless seals the deal in this seventh round and takes the victory for his team. Nicely done here. But good utility. Well played. Really like it. We're gonna keep an eye on Cypher for this one. Once more, they decide to go for a similar play, so they can ward off. See, where does the camera go? That's the bigger question right now. So they're trying to get for go for all the angles. Camera play, what do we have with that? Doesn't seem this concentrated effort onto A again. But, yep, he gets his, his traps out. And camera time again on C long, double checking that. All right, gonna double check what's happening over there. He's the only one at this point. Sage is sitting right next to him though. So there is still a chance that we're going to see the move into C from them. We have two guarding uh, guarding garage. And still Omen, I believe, is the one that is holding the A spawn. So holds short, holds long. Make sure that there's no rotation over there either. Same time, it's the move for Z. They were able to take down Painarana. Vainless himself getting the kill. And moving in, everybody is on the move once again. This time, no wall just yet. Spike first, sets the spike in play. Slows down towards the uh, defender side. And gets the barrier out. <laughs> Cuts one of them off. You're on your own, buddy. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of done with you. I don't know what Cypher said to uh, Sage, but it couldn't have been nice. I mean, she was off completely. They're guarding all of this. Nice kill. Tries to get the follow-up. Doesn't get it immediately, but the rest of the team is here too to help them out. Smokes on the ground, and they're just covering the spawn and easily take this round without even losing a single agent. They take the lead with a 5-3 on the attacker side here on Haven. Well played by them. And now putting the, the blue team, or the attack, the defending team, into pickle again. Seri has enough money, no problem. With 9 kills, he is the top dog on the leaderboard for the defender side. And every single kill nets you another 200 credits. But as you can tell, it doesn't really seem like they're gonna buy too much here. We have a judge though. Period on Omen decided to go into a judge. Very likely also gonna drop at least a little bit of armor. But they are, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a semi-round. I mean, they're trying to save here, but they get a few sheriffs together with it. Together with it. So they wanna have a full buy available next round. So they take this one a bit easier. But if you push into that judge, that shotgun is going to rip you a new one. If that thing kicks you in the ass, you're not going to be able to sit for a week. I can promise you that much. This year's on the other hand. Comes in, gets a kill, a double, and they take down Omen 2. Oh, yes. No kills here. Quick heal. Sage comes in. Another 35 seconds before she can heal again. Signature ability here on cooldown. Doesn't have to be bought. High utility on Sage. Fantastic hero, and there is a reason why she is the backbone of pretty much any agent composition that you see in Valorant. Yeah, six points against three now. That first half is going incredibly well for Funky Team Name. And we have a lot of ults available for them too, and that's all about vision. If you look towards Sage, you can still resurrect. You look towards the scoreboard at the top, and every single agent that has that yellow background around the portrait frame has an ult available for the round. Full buy, Purit by the way, on Omen, has now decided to go into an op for defending side, which I assume puts him onto C. No, he's actually gonna be the one peeking A. So he's gonna be peeking on A, trying to get the kill here with his op. Might actually be able to get something done here, if he can somehow. <laughs> yeah, tries to get the jump uh, at him, quite literally. But instead, they're already losing someone, and now he has to start to rotate over. And as great as the operator is, if you're on the defending side, uh, believe me, you don't really want to push with that into any kind of choke points there. That's why you oftentimes see someone that goes for an op also attempting to at least get a decent pistol, so that in a close quarter fight, they have a bit more of a stand there. 
But Omen for the defenders is still holding A for as much as he can. But as you can tell on the minimap, we have funky team names slowly starting to push over towards the BNC. I gotta be careful at the double doors here. As I told you, once that the armor is actually gone on those bad boys, you can easily shoot through them. Nobody pushing just yet. They are making a slow rotation towards A though. Okay, A short. No problem over here. Still holding that. Everybody is moving in for it slowly. 5 versus 3 situation on the map. Another 30 seconds left, so they really need to make their move. But Death on Arrival doesn't expect them here. They really still believe that they will go a different way. Yeah, on the other hand, Omen versus Omen. Nice move. That <laughs> he gets the second one too. Double kill with the operator. Nicely done. That's already the wall out. Here comes the Sova ult. The heal and the resurrect as they're trying to hold the point again. A bit of a slow with the orb. Four versus two situation right now. Nicely done. Double kill as Seal with the Cypher takes down Sage and Sova. That leaves only Brimstone standing. And he is still holding the top, trying to survive for now and maybe even get a counter kill. But this is not going to be easy by any means. I mean, there's already Breach coming in, trying to get him quickly annihilated with Seal helping out. That's the third kill for Cypher now in this round. And that puts another point onto the board for Funky Team Name. Locking in win number seven in this match in the loser's bracket. And the air is getting a little bit thinner for Death on Arrival over here. Wow, this is a nice spot. Well, it's definitely a nice spot. Has been making pretty much the exact same play time and time yes, again, but right work. now we've seen this before. This looks very much like the approach towards A that they already executed a bit earlier. Where's the camera positioning though? That's the question. And the last time we saw it here on B, and I think this is exactly what's going to happen again. So Cypher is doing the exact same thing. Puts the camera here in a pretty decent spot. He knows exactly what's happening. He has a trap over on C. He has a trap over towards A. And he allows the rest of the team to just simply push as a four-man into A. While he holds all the corners here. Nicely done. They get the kill. Omen versus Omen again. This time on A short. In those little catacombs over there. And now they're pushing onto the point itself. It should be a very, very quick plan. There's nobody left anymore. After Panorama exactly and Yuichiro got both taken out. That leaves only two defenders standing. In a 5 versus 4 situation. And Omen, by the way, he still has ult. If he just falls back a little bit. If they can hear a defuse. He can easily nuke that spot. So, I would be shocked if this is not another win for them. What about the defenders, though? Are they even, make it pl are they even making a play for it? It seems like they are. They're pushing through. <laughs> First one taken out right away. The only survivor at this point is Serian. Uh, he's down to 3 HP. Gets the heal in. That's gonna get him back up to 100, but armor is obviously lost. And the only good thing that you can do right now is try and save your gun, I suppose. So, uh, with that, we have 8 against 3 points. Damn! Yeah, nicely done. 8 against 3 puts us also into a position where this is going to be the last round in this half. Last round of the half. And, whew, this will be tough. Coming back from that position, good luck with that. So, the defenders are going to try whatever they can. We're going to focus a little bit on the attacking side. Where Sage is... Pushing towards A again slowly. Yeah, Sage so far every single time with a spike. Just like dancing around here a bit. But you can see o uh, Cypher, he's going for the same play. They're making the same move. He set the trap on C. He set the trap on uh, between B and A. And now... Oh, actually misclicked. All right. Has to wait for 10 seconds. Yeah, a little bit of a screw up. Okay, plays a little bit more aggressive to give his team enough cover over here. But now that the ability is going to be ready in just another two seconds, he's most likely no going to go left. for the exact same thing. Yes, camera is in, can now rotate back, no problem. They played it a little bit slower. He has all the vision that he needs. No problemo. Everybody else, a shot is already pushed. There it comes, the attack. Nice move by Omen on the defending side. Do it with a double kill. The third kill against them, and it seems like Death on Arrival is not quite dead just yet. Yeah, series also moving over, but not even needed. That was easy. Three kills. Nicely done as we are switching sides. A job well done here on the last one. Okay. So, as we're heading in, let's see what Death on Arrival can do. They are the attacker side now. So, we have a swap. Everybody is losing out on resource and everything else that they have, which means we're looking at pistols again. But it's a bit of a difference. We have five ghosts for Death on Arrival right now. 
Whereas on Funky Team Name's side, we only have two goats. Nobody else actually bought anything. Now, there's a couple of things with economy. If you don't buy anything, if you actually played with the standard, you can still spend money. You can buy utility, for example, and you also can afford uh, the small armor. That actually helps you in a fight quite a lot. If you, on the other hand, go for the ghost, you drop 500 out of the initial 800 you have, and that doesn't leave you with enough credits to afford the small armor. But utility is incredibly important, and that's what most of them already invested in. Yeah, that one didn't really help. Alright, they're starting to move through and they're zerging up on C. They're trying to shoot it out here. Zerg on C, there's a trade. Bam! Siri comes in with the second kill. So far, so good. And moving into uh, the spawn. Uh, spawn site still has to be protected. And they're starting to get a couple of hits connected. But with four versus three situations, this could still be taken back by the defenders. Funky team name is going to try and make it happen. All the utility that was bought by Siri in particular is now coming in handy. Slow orbs, both of them have been dropped. 100 credits each when you try to buy them. But now there's nothing left. Peeking. Peeking behind the box. Two there. Also, the corner a little bit. Three there. All three of them gets two hits in. But that's not enough. Hit is in as they're trying to make the play. C is getting completely walled off. They get the easy kill against Yuichiro. Orsa is down two. That leaves Sova. That's not enough. Not enough to win against the three of them. Especially not with a wall already cordoning him off completely. Another victory here for the yeah, for a like, funky team name. Whew. Yeah, the air is getting a little bit thinner up there. Another three wins, another four wins, and the best of 25 is decided in favor of funky team name. So death on arrival is really under pressure now. What's the play going to be? You're going to try to move through B as it seems. Uh, at least that's what it looks like. When it comes to equipment, we are looking at the same situation. They haven't really bought a whole lot. The interesting part is that the defending team hasn't actually bought anything either. I mean, well, it's not quite true. They actually bought guns now. So they bought guns and they bought equipment. So they decided to not really go for anything too fancy. We don't have any vandals over there. We don't have any phantoms. They bought utility. They bought abilities. A little bit of armor. And they bought ghosts. So they will have a full buy in the next round. But they still have the upper hand for this one. The Zerg moves still on to C. As they're trying to plant, and again, any every plan counts. Even just planting counts, but they are just dropping total trouble now. Getting all obliterated. I mean a flawless victory here now for funky team name as they are locking in this the tenth victory, the tenth round win in this. And now they have of course all the money that they need in order to get some serious weaponry in. Both teams do. But there's a huge difference here, of course. Because we have mad utility now for funky team name. We have them with vandals, phantoms, and they still have a little bit of money to spare there. And of course, they have that six round lead over their opponent, which is pretty brilliant. Okay, so let's see what we are going to get on the. <laughs> well, let's see, exactly. Trying to peek there a little bit. Okay. There's only one sitting there. Okay. Let me get a bit of a peek in. On the corner, nothing happening so far, alright. Not getting any damage in, the rotation towards C. Is anybody shifting? No. Double doors are also being attacked. Attacking team still trying to make the move towards C long, but they have to be careful, especially with the second defender now rotating over towards the spawn. Everybody else, on the other hand, is moving towards the garage. And they are definitely going to make that play now. They got the initial kill. Defending side only has another four remaining. Good kill, though. Nicely done by Fails. Very nicely done with his uh, with his Vandal. Trying to get another one. Careful. There's the stun. Can he go around the corner and get the kill? No, instead he gets headshotted right away. Fails is not the only one that has a Vandal. Seri has one too, and apparently knows how to use it. Gets a second easy kill in. Damn son, Veilus is down. There's the wall. This should be a lock for them, and they take it with a full team elimination. Yuichiro, the one to take Seo down, and that's another point on the board for Death on Arrival. Slowly starting to close that gap here. Five against ten, and maybe the start of a comeback. Yeah. Oh, they're getting a couple of shotguns in. Oh my god, look at that. Two buckies, a shoddy as well. All right, so uh, don't really have enough to go for a full buy. Funky team name. Not after they, what they just lost here. 
But this will be an interesting one. The only one who doesn't buy anything is Fails. Fails actually is just sitting there with his normal pistol. Everybody, uh, in, everybody else is going for the close quarter fights. Just look over onto the minimap. Look at the garage door. They have two sitting there waiting for someone to push through so that they can make the play here. And if, honestly, if Purit pushes through that, those shotguns are going to rip him apart. If he doesn't get the kill in first, then, uh, yeah, he can't afford to be hit by that. Okay, maybe trying to get a shot through here. Yeah, going for the blind. All right, starting to push in. Shotguns and goodbye, baby. Bucky doing the job. First one down. And Fails is now starting to rotate over to C as the defenders are making a move. Three versus three. Again, more or less an eco round for them, of course. All right, moving around. Oh, oh, oh the blind, the headshot, but the counter kill. Sari with a triple. Last man standing now. That's a problem. Rest of the team moves in. Sari gets another one, revives Feyerana, and gets the fifth kill. Full on ace as Sage is popping off in this game. What a performance here once again. 17 kills already for Sari. Sage player is just going bonkers. Peirana, he picked up the uh, Bucky earlier, but now they go for full weapons once more. Phantom for Sova, the rest of them with Vandals. And over on Funky Team name side, we have the op in. Fails is going for the op. He's going to try and hold down C long, probably. That's what he did previously here. Desius is affording himself a Vandal now too. Now there's a lot of credits available for Death on Arrival still. But here comes the move towards A this time. You win a round, you win 3,000 credits. You uh, place the, the spike, you get another 300. Every single kill gives you another 200 credits. And let's not forget that there is also a little bit of a... You have a loser's bonus. If you lose multiple rounds in a row, you get more money. The first one, 1,900. Second one, 2,400. Up to 2,900 for the third round loss in a row. And every one after that. Yeah, and talking about losing rounds, could actually see the attackers lose this one. Three of them already eliminated, and uh, that op hit against Seri, that definitely hurts. Yep, and there it is. Point 11 for Funky Team Name. Too short of winning this and advancing to the next round of this tournament. The level Valorant Clash continues. 10,000 euros are on the line. And right now, it's looking good for Funky Team Name. They got dropped into the loser's bracket by Team uh, Invisible. And now the big question, of course, can they make that run through the lower bracket and fight back into the grand final? And so far, it's actually not looking too bad. But of course, five rounds can easily be won, can easily be turned, especially once that you run out of money. We still have the op over here. Okay, tries to get the hit in. Not possible this time. The rest of the attacking team is starting to make the move through the double doors again, though. Yeah, Puri is trying to make it in again. Still not sure that's going to be uh, possible for them. They're shifting over to B instead, which is currently protected by only a single agent on the defender side. But they're rotating in from behind. There's an attack coming from behind, and nobody seems to be guarding it. So once that's the case, they're moving on to window already, and that's a really tough situation right now, and they're getting fun from behind right now. Yep, that's the first kill, that's the second. They're completely getting uh, put exactly into a pickle here. I mean, honestly, they're between a rock and a hard place right now. The only survivor is Omen Purit. He has nowhere to go, and he gets taken down, being smoked there. That's 12 versus 6 now, and it is getting rough for death on arrival. Yeah, from death to arrival to dead on arrival, that's what it looks like right now. If they lose another round, then it is over. They're out of the tournament, and Funky Team Name would advance to the next round of the loser's bracket. They had a good run so far, and they just might be able to make that happen. So let's have a bit of a look of what the strategy is going to be for the potential last round. I mean, this is, this is going to be six match points. Six match points. It's not going to be easy. They have some weapons, but they don't have enough for a full buy. I mean, just look at the setup. It's it's a shotgun. They have the Judge, they have the Bulldog. Two Bulldogs even, and a Sheriff. They don't have a lot of resources here, and they know it too. They can try and play around utility a bit, but you... It's it, it's not an envious position today, no. Yeah, there's the wall. Shut down immediately. They have to break through. They can't see shit either. 
And there's a rotation in the back already. They're trying to break through with full force. This just gets a kill against Purit. Ah, uh, three versus four though. Yuichiro got a kill. That's not too bad. I mean, they're starting to... Ah, well, over here. They're starting to move in. The hit fails. And Misha, they get the kills in. Only two attackers are still surviving. Fails right now. Looking for the blind. Looking for the corner. Gets taken out, though. Turning this into a two versus two. And guys, the spike is on the ground. They're trying to go for the defuse, but the blind hits are coming. <laughs> coming through the smoke. Seri is down. And that's the second kill against Hossa. This is game. Funky team name moves on to the next round of the loser's bracket as Death on Arrival gets kicked out of the tournament.